Hi, how is everybody doing? It is Paul from Magpie 24 7 with a match day vlog experience. Today's game is Newcastle United v Rotherham down in South Yorkshire at the New York Stadium. I'm hoping for a couple of more goals following on from the Doncaster game, but with a few more bodies back, let's hope we can keep a few goals out. We'll have senior keepers today for the first time in pre season. Dang Langley, I can't imagine getting any game down today. It's going to be Gillespie or Woodman between the sticks. Fabian Shea, Emil Kraft. Joe Linton, Matt Ritchie all come back into the fold on top of the, the lads who were available last time out. So, yeah, a few goals, a Newcastle win, a clean sheet, and this rain to stop would be absolutely fantastic. Let's see how today's game goes. Yeah, just starting, just going past the old ground, all boarded up, regeneration, Millmore. Yeah, not the best of stadiums, but heading off now to uh, the New York Stadium. Well, what, 20 minutes away from where I started and it's blue skies again. Goodness knows, I drove through some right weather on the way over. Drove past the old Millmore Stadium, uh, parked up now just in the shadows of the New York Stadium. Team news is out. Isaac Hayden, Mr. Utility himself, uh, being thrust into the right wing-back role, it looks like, uh, today. Five at the back again. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I would like to see us experiment over some of this pre-season with at least a four at the back so we can change our tactics up as need be over the course of the upcoming season. But big news is Freddie Woodman starts in goal. Langley dropped to the bench alongside uh, Gillespie, but it is Woodman who gets the nod. And is that the first clue towards the uh, the goalkeeping situation for the West Ham game? Who knows? Anyway, looking forward to it. Going to get to the stadium now uh, and uh, see the lads getting warmed up. wear those if you want to and of course make sure you regularly sanitize your hands Craig David, seven days playing, which is rather funny because that's about all the time Newcastle have got left to get some transfers done. Come on, fucking hell, Charlie, put your thing out your ass. Just get ready for kickoff. Not many in tonight in the New York. That is apart from another packed away in the course. Newcastle fans taking up the tickets.
fight, and we all know how to fight. We'll support you evermore. All Newcastle so far, knocked around nicely. Fuck me, that was a bad goal to concede there. First attack, head it, Rotherham 1 0. Rotherham supporters can make noise. Bitch is shit. Corner. It's gone. Oh, another rubber attack. Come on, lads. Fuck's sake. That sums up the first half. <laughs> Says it all. We're support booing them. Pathetic, half-hearted, couldn't be bothered, no imagination. The huffed and the puff, the passed around, but far too many mistakes, poor decisions, lack of shots on the opposition target, awful. Better second half, come on lads. Second half kicked off, it can only be a fucking improvement, let's face it. First pass of subs. 
Wilson off, Hendrick on, great. It's right what I was looking forward to seeing. You're just a shit steam, McLaren! Should have been a lot better. Back to the car. Um, fans not happy in the second half. Fans singing, you're just a shit steam McLaren. Um, letting the club know that they need to do something. The fans are on their absolute ass mentally. We've had 14 years of this shit and I know it's pre-season it doesn't matter today one little bit it was a decent goal 
the equaliser in the second half came. Corner headed in well by Jeff Hendrick, who was actually playing up fucking top with uh, White, Joe White, I think you call him, from the academy side. That's how we think he started to well fucking game off. It was desperation stakes. Um, not enough strikers to go around. And no, there's players to come back. No Alan St. Maximum today. No Miggy. Um, no Joe Linton today. <sighs> Positive. We didn't lose. But honestly, we played absolutely fucking garbage. I saw very, very little to be positive about ready for the, the new season. And this is what pisses you off because as, as as fans, you should be excited for a new season. You know, after not being able to go for a season and this, that and the other. And it's just not the case myself, the people around. I thought the away end was quiet compared to Doncaster. Um, and people are just getting sick. Sick of listening to Bruce's excuses. Sick of listening to Charlie's excuses. Sick of listening to Ashley's excuses. At the end of the day, this takeover isn't going to go over this summer. Ashley needs to find somebody. I don't care whether he's got to put his hand in his own pocket. Whether it's got to be an over, a, overdraft. I don't care at this point. I've heard people today say to us, well, if you go down and you're lumbered with debt, blah, 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 we'll be the next Sunderland. One thing for sure, if we do not strengthen that squad and make it sufficient for the Premier League, then we're going to go down regardless, and we've still got debts. So if we're in for, you know, whatever debt we've got now, we might as well be in for a few extra more million on top, just to give us something. But, yeah, awful. The, the stadium itself, fantastic new stadium, uh, New York Stadium compared to uh, Millmore and stuff like that before, and uh, the facilities-wise, unbelievable. Um... They're obviously getting ready for um, a promotion, a promotion charge, a promotion campaign where Newcastle, I'm, I'm afraid it's going to be much as it's been for season after season after season now, fighting against relegation. You you know, you could finish 17th. You hope you finish at least 17th because at the last day of the season, you don't want to be fighting for 18th, 19th and 20th, which is a distinct possibility. So hopefully... It's a wake-up call for Steve Bruce. It's a wake-up call for Lee Charlie and Mike Ashley. You're out of excuses. You're out of time. The season kicks off shortly. We've got academy kids playing up top in our uh, preparation games. We need much, much better. Their goal came from down the uh, wing-back area, uh, from down the left, crossed in. Here, uh, Woodman couldn't really do much about it because it was literally right in front of him. Um, but, yeah, Newcastle got level thanks to... Jeff Bloody Hendrick uh, of all places. Who knows? We might have found a new position for him. He might be the answer because he certainly offered, I think, more than the likes of Dwight Gale did up top. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it may be Jeff Hendrick's new position. This may be the second coming. Who bloody knows? But, yeah, travelling home, a little bit disappointed. Uh, and I just got everything crossed that Newcastle managed to do something in the transfer market. I really, really do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Try to get as much uh, footage as what I could do. We're all uh, celebrating and joining in and stuff with the uh, with the away contingent. Take care. Keep it tuned. And I'll speak to you later.